The COVID-19 outbreak in the city of Shanghai, the financial capital, has now reported more than 22,000 new cases in Shanghai. In Residents are losing patience after being cooped up at home for more than a month. Night, the echoes of people crying out from their windows for help. This woman's door was kicked in by police when she refused to go to quarantine. Robots patrol some streets, reminding people to wear masks. Over the difficulties in getting food and poor conditions at central quarantine facilities. Police and people being forced out of their homes as the city enters its third week of COVID lockdown. So you're Xi Jinping, the head of China. You've been putting your peasants through the most brutal COVID lockdowns in the world. Your subjects are being forced to stay in their homes, even when their food and medications are running out. Children who test positive get separated from their parents without so much as a goodbye. Even the cities that are on lockdown spend every single day in fear that they'll be next on the list. And it's all thanks to your zero COVID policy. Your promise to do whatever it takes to get China's COVID cases down to zero, no matter the cost. But your grand plan has had an unintended consequence. Your rich people want out. You see, in your lockdowns, it doesn't matter if you're a peasant or a rich businessman living in a penthouse. They're all trapped in their homes just the same. No rich people privilege. And the businesses that made these businessmen rich? Well, most of them are probably going under as well, since no one can step outside and buy stuff. It's gotten so bad that 10,000 wealthy Chinese men and women worth over $48 billion plan on leaving China as soon as possible. And that is a problem. You see, if you're going to get China to overtake the US as the world's superpower, you need money. You need the Chinese economy at full steam. And as with any economy, the Chinese economy is powered by the rich business owners. If they leave and take their money with them, people won't have jobs, the economy will crumble. So even though this is all your fault for punishing the few subjects that actually keep your economy running, it is your duty to protect the interests of the public at all costs by never letting the rich leave. These rich people are only rich because you allow them to be anyways. So if they try to leave, you gotta make them suffer. My name is Jake Tran and we make documentaries on money, power, war, and crime so that you can see the world for what it really is. A giant game of acquiring power. You can't get out of this game either way, so instead of being a victim, why not learn to be a better player? Your parents, teachers, friends, society will never teach you any of this, so we're going to. Stay dangerous and this is The Great Chinese Exodus. Although the government doesn't want to admit it, we are definitely in a recession already. And guess what? The average recession lasts 17 months, which means the next one or two years is not looking very bright, unless you prepare right now. Remember, you want to be greedy when there's blood in the streets. And if this recession is anything like the 2008 recession, where home prices fell as much as 40 to 50% in some areas, or even over 60% in places like Las Vegas, you're going to want to learn how to swoop up all this real estate at fire sale prices. And that is where Meet Kevin's real estate investing course comes in. Meet Kevin is one of the biggest investing YouTubers out there. And in this course, he teaches you how to go from $0 in net worth to millionaire and beyond using real estates. I actually bought this course with my own money and went through it a few years back. And it is amazing. I had zero real estate knowledge and I bought a lot of online courses in my day. So I can tell you with confidence that this is the most comprehensive real estate investing course out there. And I even ended up buying my parents a house using the knowledge I learned. In this course, Meet Kevin teaches you how to buy real estate that's under market value, do easy cosmetic upgrades to it to increase its value, so your property becomes worth way more than what you put in. This is what he calls finding wedge deals, and it's actually pretty simple. And he goes over every possible little thing you could need to know with over 400 video lessons. But my favorite part of this course is that Meet Kevin does live streams where you can show him deals you're looking at and he'll analyze them on the spots. I've done this before with him on a live stream and it's really cool. So if this sounds at all interesting to you, pause the video and go to jake.yt slash real estate by clicking the link below. Take a look at what's inside the course for yourself and enroll right now before the price increases. That's jake.yt slash real estate with the link below to enroll now. Even before COVID brought chaos to China, it wasn't exactly at the top of most people's dream countries to live in list. Pollution, poor safety standards, mass surveillance, corruption, and almost zero freedom of speech and expression. None of these really appeal to educated, wealthy people looking to make better lives for themselves and their families. 
So it's not really surprising that even back in 2013, a lot of rich Chinese citizens were looking for a way out. Instead of being stuck in a country where your money could be taken from you, where you could be thrown in jail if the government was having a bad day, these rich Chinese citizens wanted to move to places like America, Canada, Europe, and Australia. Places where they would be free to say and do what they want. Where they would have access to better education, more freedom, cleaner air, and healthier food. Disgusting stuff like that. So to discourage your subjects from leaving you, you instituted a new rule that only allowed your subjects to take $50,000 out of the country every year. $50,000? When you're moving to a new country with your entire family? That's harsh. Just the way you wanted it. But these meddling peasants eventually found a lot of ways around this law, like buying crypto, or moving their money through Macau, the Las Vegas of Asia, where casinos allow customers to buy gambling chips in Yuan and then exchange those chips for foreign currencies like euros or dollars. And if your subjects needed to move very large amounts of money out of the country, they could also arrange an exchange with a foreign business looking to invest or work in China. They would give them $1 million worth of Yuan in China, move to the country they wanted like the trader they were. And in that new country, they would be handed $1 million in whatever currency they wanted. All of these loopholes made it possible for Chinese citizens to move to the West if they really wanted to. But then COVID hit, and it was time to crack the whip. Right off the bat, you held no mercy to stop the spread of COVID. People were left stuck in their apartments without food, Tesla workers were forced to sleep in the company's factories, bankers were trapped inside their offices, and over 33,000 people were locked up in Disneyland to undergo testing before they could leave. People were living in constant fear of testing positive or coming into contact with someone who had COVID, which would then lead them to getting shipped off to some strange quarantine camp, far away from their families and their homes. And all of these measures meant not only were your subjects suffering mentally and developing anxiety and depression, but the Chinese economy was slowed down to a halt. Today, over 18% of China's youth are unemployed and the economy is growing at a snail's pace, slower than ever before compared to recent years. And that wasn't even the worst of it, because just as the world started opening up, that's when you announced China's zero COVID policy could last another five years. Five more years of keeping your subjects docile and contained? Yes, please. Since the start of the zero COVID program, Migration consultants and lawyers said the number of people asking how to leave China has tripled, and in some cases, it multiplied by five. And searches for terms like how to move to Canada increased by more than 3,000%. Right now, around 10,000 wealthy Chinese citizens and 3,000 Hong Kong residents are planning on leaving just this year. And they're planning on taking their over $60 billion of collective wealth with them. If that happens, this exodus of rich and educated people will be the second largest for any country in the world. Second only to Russia, thanks to their recent invasion and sanctions. The only question is, how will we prevent them from leaving this time? Only around 10% of Chinese citizens have valid passports. And applying for visas and moving to a new country without a passport is near impossible. And that's where we get our first solution to keep our subjects from leaving. You see, thanks to COVID, we've been able to use that as an excuse to implement strict travel restrictions that block Chinese citizens from traveling out of China for anything the government thinks is non-essential. This has made it very difficult for people to get passports so they can apply for visas to move. Which then brings us to our next step, even if Chinese citizens could get the passports, visas, and the permission they needed to actually leave the country, we gotta shut down all the loopholes they've found over the years to get their money out of the country. That's why in 2021, the Chinese government banned crypto trading, meaning no one could use Bitcoin or Ethereum as a way to move their money out of China anymore. That's why we've also cracked down on Macau's casinos that used to let Chinese citizens exchange their yuan for foreign currencies. And since not many foreigners are looking to start business or invest in China right now, that other route where Chinese citizens would give foreigners yuan in China and then get paid back in a foreign currency once they moved out is also now basically shut down. But as always, these pesky subjects of yours are still finding new creative ways to get around all these crackdowns. But rest assured, 
This is like a game of whack-a-mole. As they find new loopholes to get their money out, you just gotta crack down hard on them to remind them who's boss. China has done some pretty shady stuff in the name of patriotism and the greater good, but none of that could compare to the lengths America is willing to go to achieve its goals and maintain its status as the moral compass of the world. Just take the war on terror as an example. For nearly 10 years, CIA operatives and American soldiers would kidnap and imprison hundreds of their Arabic enemies and subject them to some of the most violent, ruthless, enhanced interrogation techniques the world has ever seen. They would keep these suspects in secret prisons all around the world, never telling them why they were being held or when they would have a chance for a fair trial. And it didn't matter that a lot of the CIA's suspects actually turned out to be innocent. In their mind, all of these enhanced interrogations were for the greater good. This practice of kidnapping and questioning prisoners in secret prisons became known as the CIA's Black Site program, and the stuff they did to their prisoners is honestly the darkest, most evil topic we've ever covered on this channel. But obviously, going into all the deep, dark, bloody depths of the CIA's Black Site program would definitely get demonetized by YouTube. That's why we've released it as a private, full-length documentary that's only available to members of this channel. All you have to do to get access to this documentary, and lots of others on topics like Efri Jepstein, the Bin Laden Papers, and MK Ultra, the CIA's mind control program, is to hit that join button below. Once you do, you'll have exclusive access to this insider information on how the world works that no one will ever teach you in school or university every single month. And unlike university, we're not going to charge you thousands of dollars to learn these things. Becoming a member only costs $5 a month. And trust us, these videos are way more entertaining than a lecture could ever be. Plus, there's a refund policy unlike most YouTube memberships. So if you join and you don't think it's worth it, email us within your first month of joining and we will personally refund you for your first month. After your first month, there is no refund. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you're new here, this is one of the biggest channels on YouTube for documentaries on money, power, war, and crime. We make multiple videos just like this one every single week for free, so click that subscribe button below. But that's gonna wrap it up. Stay dangerous out there, and I will see you guys in the next one.